There's no mistaking the Millstone River in Nanaimo is on its way to being able to support a self-sustaining coho salmon run. The offspring of the first coho able to migrate the entire length of the 14-kilometer river from the city's inner harbor to Brandon Lake completely on their own came back in the fall of 2010. For over 40 years, Fisheries and Oceans Canada and local stewardship groups had been trying to make the Millstone River and its 100 square kilometers of spawning and rearing habitat accessible to salmon. Stepping pools were created in the lower Millstone and a fish ladder was built at the first of a series of waterfalls in Bowen Park. Despite the attempt to help the salmon get past the natural barriers, the coho had to be caught and transported upstream. Then one year, a plan was conceived to build an 800-meter side channel through Bowen Park, providing the salmon a natural way to get around the falls. The day after water was released into the new Millstone side channel in October 2007, Coho had begun using it. The side channel was a partnership project between the DFO, a host of environmental stewardship groups, industry, and local and provincial government. The community remains committed to the Millstone River Coho Salmon Run. In 2008, a siphon was installed at Westwood Lake to ensure adequate water supply in summer months for juvenile salmon that inhabit the Millstone year-round. Timberwest Forest Company has donated $70,000 annually for 10 years to the Pacific Salmon Foundation for projects on the east coast of Vancouver Island. I think about 10,000 of that was channeled into the Millstone Channel. Uh, helping out in construction. Uh, we've also helped out in uh, providing some seedlings and, uh, and seeding for some of the bank uh, uh, stabilizations. In the summer of 2010, the company was asked to supply a 13-meter red cedar log to be placed in a water intake area of the channel to help deflect leaves and debris from entering the main channel during the fall floods. DFO and Friends of the Millstone River also added six truckloads of mixed gravel upstream to create additional spawning beds. Vancouver Island University Resource Management students used the side channel as an outdoor classroom. They observe juvenile and adult coho through the year and participate in monitoring the adults as they migrate through a fishway via a motion-sensitive video camera. This year, we're not counting everything that goes through. We're just counting the coho that go up. The side channel is well used by several fish species and other animals. Coho, Chinook salmon and cutthroat trout have been documented moving both up and downstream past the video camera. Small denumeration studies suggest the upper watershed has the potential to produce 30,000 juveniles, eventually leading to greater numbers of coho returning to the Millstone River. By mid-November of 2010, 216 adult coho had been documented moving through the fishway to the upper reaches of the river. Many others spawned in the side channel. The Millstone Side Channel Project is only one of many the Pacific Salmon Foundation supports in Nanaimo. Another successful initiative has been the reintroduction of pink salmon to the region starting in 2003. In 2009, 50,000 pink salmon returned to the Nanaimo River and neighboring streams. Future plans aim to establish a pink run at Neck Point and eventually a coho sport fishery in Nanaimo Harbor. For everyone involved, there is but one goal, healthy, sustainable and naturally diverse populations of wild Pacific salmon.